Hello, everybody. My name is Sebastian. I'm from Argentina, and I'm the founder and CEO of Arclight. At our company, we've decided to develop a process to transform one of the world's biggest problems into an impact solution. Only last year, 300 million tons of plastic waste were generated around the world. That seems like a big number. Uh, for picture it better, that's the same as 200,000 football stadiums filled from bottom to top with plastic. At that number, it's going to be 600 million by the year 2050. And the biggest problem with plastics and plastic waste is that only 7% of all plastics are actually recycled. And this is mainly because of one cause, and it's that more than 70% of the daily products that we use are made in a way that are considered unrecyclable for the plastic industries and for their actual recycles. So, the other 93% goes up to dumps, landfills, incinerators, or even water courses. So at Arclet, we decided to work on a new solution for this. And we came to this new kind of artificial rock that is made from both recyclable and non-recyclable plastics and can be used as a replacement for quarry rock in the construction industry. This means that we are taking all the benefits of plastics, like being light, strong, and durable, and creating a new product for an industry that appreciates all these benefits. Instead of mining, going out to the city, mining on quarries, and taking rock back to the city, polluting the environment with the transport, and impacting the environment by the mining, we just settle up locally, take the local plastic waste, and generate a substitute for that rock. This rock works the same as quarry rock in a concrete mix. So it's mixed with sand, cement, and water, and can be used on floors, on walls, on sidewalks, on bus stops, everywhere where you have seen concrete, but structural columns. And it can be also used below pavement. So below the streets, there are tons, millions of tons of rocks that are used for drainage and for water storage. And we can use these rocks as a replacement, meaning that those millions of rocks could be millions of plastics getting out from the environment. Besides the environmental benefits, I look like a, sell like a seller. Besides the environmental benefits, <laughs> there are some product benefits that are, are related directly to the construction industry. So it has better thermal insulation, meaning a reduction in the carbon footprint and, of course, cheaper bills. It's also quieter than concrete. So re this basically means a better construction quality. And it's more than 50% lighter than rock. So if you build up something with arc light rocks, it's going to be lighter, of course, and you will need less concrete and less, less steel at the base to hold up a lighter structure. So you have a greener building and also a cheaper building and lower cost for the construction industry. In, Ar in Argentina, actually, we are working with big consumer brands that have tons and tons of plastic pre-consumer waste that is considered unrecyclable, mainly because they are made of several products, several pr plastics mixed together. And the only way they have to get rid of them is by sending them to landfillings. So they are waiting for us to begin our process so we could take all the same amount of plastics and for the same fee they actually pay for landfilling, recycle them, recycle them through a sustainable process and transform them into these rocks that were afterwards going to be sold to the construction industry, thus closing the loop. <coughs> Buenos Aires City is also interested in working with us because cities, all major cities, have a big problem with waste. Landfillings are collapsing, and waste management rates are going up and up every year. So they need a partner here, some, not only us, but it's, it, there's a huge market 
for people trying to help with this kind of business. Here in the States, something similar happened with, um, with King County. We've been in conversation with them to find a way to work together with the actual separation plants. Remember that more than 70% of the plastic they actually receive finally go to landfillings. So we could work together with them to recover those plastics too. And these huge, huge industries as McIntyre, Stoneway Concrete and Lafarge, three of the biggest, some of the biggest in Seattle and some of the biggest in the world, are also interested in trying our material and having some loads for the first field testings. Regarding the local testings, ASTM, uh, everything that has to be with technical information and specifications, we are partnering with Washington State University. They are gonna make, they are gonna run the tests and they are gonna make all the information that we really need to take to the construction industry and get faster into the market. So we are gonna work together from now onwards on the next developments. We are working on the first machine to be installed here in Seattle. We are developing together with an engineer group in Texas, and we are hoping to have it here and running by the end of summer. This machine will be able to produce up to 12 tons a month of plastic. That plastic is going to be of plastic rocks, of course, of argillite rocks. It's going to be destined to the construction industry locally, to the construction industry in Buenos Aires, where there are the two biggest companies there are also interested in working, and to Washington State University for all the testing they have to do. Concrete is the second more used material in the world, second only after water. And cement, one of the most important materials of concrete, is respons responsible of 5% of the global carbon footprint. So if we, if we, as a company, can work to mitigate these numbers, to reduce those numbers, and at the same time take millions of tons of plastics out of landfillings, well, that sounds quite exciting. So what we think is that a better world can be done. We can all work together on that. And you are invited to invest on it today. Thank you very much.